So what's good, TMG fam? It's your boy L, and I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute. Now, two weeks ago, a title like this would have had me feeling some type of way. I ain't even gonna lie. You know what I mean? I, I, the title like this would have had me uneasy. It would have made me anxious. It, I'd have been eager to hear about it. All this type of stuff. You know what I mean? But with all of the information that I've gathered the past couple of weeks, month, or whatever, you, however long it's been, this title right here, and the title I'm speaking of is Scientists Have Just Detected Something Bigger Than the Milky Way Galaxy Hiding in Deep Space. Yeah, I, I bet I bet so. You know what I mean? Knowing what the Hubble has found, the James Webb has found, the two Voyagers have found. You see where I'm going with this? <laughs> yeah, before that, before lack of knowledge, that would have bothered me. But now, I, I bet it is. So now I want to hear what they're talking about in this video. So we're going to get right to it. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, join the family, and here we go. There are mysteries all around us, and we are fascinated by what we cannot understand. Inexplicable phenomena are discovered every day, keeping our curiosity piqued, and the prospect of knowing the world around us a foreign concept. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be exploring three recent discoveries delving- Do you get a sense of calmness when you see stuff like this in space? When you see videos or images and you just see the videos are better for me, like, I get such a calmness. I don't know where it comes from or what that is, but just looking at stuff like this, it just does that to me. My bad. Moving into the center of the Milky Way, inexplicably large clouds floating solo in space, and the possibility of many bullet-like black holes. Scientists discover lonely cloud bigger than Milky Way found in a galaxy. The Milky Way is big, it is our very own galaxy, which is home to our solar system, the Sun, the Earth, and surrounding planets. In a first of its kind discovery, astronomers have discovered a huge floating cloud in a cluster of galaxies called Abel 1367, and this particular cloud is bigger than the Milky Way itself. The cloud, deemed an orphan cloud, is 10 billion times more massive than the Sun, and is thought to be made up of extremely hot gases of temperatures up to 10 billion degrees Kelvin. While its origins are not known for certain, astronomers believe that the lonely cloud is held together by gravitational forces, and that it was formed from one of the nearby galaxy clusters before later being torn out from within. The mystery surrounding this theory is that astronomers cannot explain how it is still in existence if this is the story behind its formation. As it exactly what caused it to do that what is happening that's what does this mean why are things happening like i know scientists have a lot of a lot of things they're trying to figure out at the same time more things are happening so that adds more onto their plate of trying to figure out you know what i mean it's just the whys and the whys <laughs> constant whys and how it is still in existence if this is the story behind its formation as it would make more sense if the massive cloud had dissipated by now. Hmm. At present, they believe the cloud could be some hundreds of millions of years old, and this hypothesis that the cloud's survival, since being separated from its host galaxy, could be down to surrounding magnetic fields. As said, the record-breaking cloud was discovered near to the Abel 1367 galaxy cluster, also known as the LEO cluster, which is comprised of more than 70 known galaxies and is 330 million light-years away from Earth. Wow. If you thought the cloud's temperature of 10 million degrees was scorching, the LEO galaxy cluster reaches up to 100 million degrees Kelvin, which is insane to say the least. Despite being found near to this colossal cluster, the orphan cloud is named as such since it is not actually formally associated with any of the galaxies within the Leo cluster, but rather it lies in some form of no galaxies land. 
astronomers find huge, previously unknown cluster of stars. The Milky Way is a hot topic for conversation in the world of recent discoveries. Not only has it been bested by an orphan cloud, but astronomers have now uncovered a huge cluster of stars at the center of our galaxy. Labeled an When we were younger, I think that was the most fascinating thing about space that I always heard about was the Milky Way. The Milky Way, the Milky Way. Like that's all we thought. We never talked about galaxies, the universe, what the Big Bang, you just heard that in passing, but people more so often talked about because you could see it sometimes in the sky, you know what I mean? And they would try to point it out. That's the Milky Way. That's all I heard about as a as a child. And then that was minimal. So you know what I mean? But a huge cluster of stars at the center of our galaxy. Labeled an ancient stellar population, astronomers believe the cluster was once a globular cluster in our galaxy, which over time migrated towards the center of the Milky Way to where it was then discovered. The center of the Milky Way is in fact quite densely populated with stars, with a higher concentration of them than most other parts of the universe, making the location of the find perhaps not all that surprising. More specifically, it contains 20 million stars spread across a distance of 26 light years. Interestingly though, the very center of the Milky Way was only discovered last century. And so while it's relatively close to home, a mere 25,000 light years away from Earth, we are still in the process of uncovering huge amounts of information about this region. Not only is it a relatively recent discovery in itself, let alone this new cluster of stars, but a lot of research had since been focused on the massive black hole which also lies at the center of the Milky Way. Back to our newly found giant cluster of stars, it is thought that the cluster is only about 7,000 light years away from Earth and is also roughly 75 million years old, so middle-aged when it comes to stars. Although only discovered in 2020, the brightness of the stars within this cluster, called Valparaiso 1, is so intense that you can observe them with a telescope from Earth, in your back garden for example, somewhere near to the Sagittarius constellation. This makes the lateness of the discovery even stranger, as it is a well-observed and well-charted part of the night sky. Astronomers have since explained that- Owen That's the first thing on my list when I moved, bro, is the telescope. Never had one before, never had any interest in one before. Never had one. But now, you know what I mean? I wanna get moved within the next year and that's the first purchase, bro. Find me a nice little spot in the house and have me a telescope, bro. Oh my gosh, my bad, y'all. <laughs> when he said telescope, it made me like, oh yeah, need to get one. It's the lateness of the discovery even stranger as it is a well-observed and well-charted part of the night sky. Astronomers have since explained that owing to the distances of stars in the Milky Way and neighboring galactic orbits, it can sometimes be more difficult than one may think to observe clusters at the center of the Milky Way. Still, Valparaiso 1 is estimated to contain approximately 10,000 solar masses within its cluster, meaning it is not all that small, and so astronomers do admit that it going under the radar for so long is puzzling. With clusters of 10,000 stars being discovered so close to home, at the very heart of the Milky Way, a well-researched area, who knows what else is out there, both near and far from us, waiting to be discovered. Miniature black holes may be hitting Earth. Black holes are one of those things, a bit like dark matter, that still confuse but also massively intrigue us about the universe. We all know how they stretch light and matter into their vacuum-like existence, making spaghetti out of anything that falls into their reach. But is there more to the story of the black hole than we think? Scientists, in fact, now believe that the universe could be absolutely filled with tiny black holes, hurtling through space like cosmic bullets. Why do they think this? Well, they are slowly running out of ideas to explain what the universe is made up of. And while dark matter is a mysterious yet popular answer, it only accounts for 80% of the universe. Their new supporting theory is therefore loads of tiny black holes which have been around since the beginning of time. This does not necessarily solve much though. 
For more than 80 years, astrophysicists have failed to discover even the smallest amount of proof that such a thing as dark matter exists, and that it does indeed dictate the gravitational forces which keep the remaining 20% of the universe, the normal, visible matter, in check. Similarly, the new tiny black holes theory does indeed help to avoid the reality that we have no clue what the universe is made up of, True. but also falls short on the actual evidence front. NASA cosmologists therefore admit that they are running out of ideas fast, and possible sources of tangible evidence are also running scarily low. In terms of these hypothetical miniature black holes hitting Earth, if they do exist, it is of course possible. And although tiny, much smaller than an asteroid, more like a grain of rice, they could cause devastation, it is thought, through deformation and intense heat levels. However, scientists working on this theory believe they would only pass by the Earth roughly once every 100 million years. So whether these mini black holes are science fiction or fact, you will not have to worry about one hitting you just yet. But at the same time, they say they can form anywhere. Once in a hundred million, well, however many million years, but at the same time, they can form anywhere. So that does nothing for me. That doesn't make me feel any better. Because out of the blue, one can just pop up near us, hopefully not, depending on our gravitational pull, if that, if that happens. It just pop up, and then what? Yeah, that, that statement did nothing for me. So our science fiction or fact, you will not have to worry about one hitting you just yet. Every day we solve one mystery, discovering something new, while creating new dilemmas for future generations to solve. Equally, trying to solve existing puzzles is by no means easy, and the possibility that there are things we simply will not know the answer to seems to scare us by nature. Yet, time and time again, science proves that there truly is no limit to what is out there for us to learn. In fact, it is only ever increasing by the day. That's the thing, like you said, we should be scared for those that come after us. What we're dealing with, they're going to have to deal, deal with that plus more, especially as, the, after, as we gather more information. So <laughs> that statement right there couldn't have been more true. Day. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I think NASA needs some more money in the budget and we need to get a lot more missions going up there so we can figure out what space is made of, you know, People believe in this dark matter theory and all that kind of information and stuff like that, but we need to get more information. We need way more information about these black holes, where they could spawn at, where they could, you know what I mean? What that could mean for us if one does spawn close to us or something like that, um, if it's even possible. Like, it's so much, man. And, and you think about it, and I don't know how many how many people they have working at NASA or affiliated or what, what, you know what I mean? I know it's global now from the information we got that time from that scientist, but I'm, I just got this strange feeling that they're undermanned and overwhelmed. You know what I mean? Just not enough hands on deck and they could always use more. It's one of them type of situ situations. They can never have enough. So, you know, man, just, just, they got a lot. And like I said, when you're dealing with one thing, it's still more other things developing, creating more whys. Why is this? Why is this? And how does this affect what we're dealing with right now? You know what I mean? So, but anyway, scientists have just detected something bigger than the Milky Way galaxy hiding deep in space. All right. So y'all get at me in the comment section, man, and let me know what you think and stick around and stay tuned, man. Till the next one, I'm gone. Peace.